What's up everybody, back for another beer review, and today, reviewing yet another collaboration beer. This time between the North Park Brewing Company, and they're out of San Diego, California, and the, how do you say, Mag Magnanimous <laughs> Brewing? I, it's just, I think it's just Magnanimous Brewing. Out of Tampa, Florida, and we got there, and we got there, and we got there, Charlie Fu, because Mike is broken. I'm not gonna Isn't this how you guys do it? Is it like this? I don't... We've received threats. We're not going to talk during the review. Yeah, no. They're... We're just here for show. Honestly, they're not even going to drink this beer during the review. I don't think. So this is a double dry hop, the West Coast IPA. <sighs> Comes in at 7.1% alcohol by volume. Time of review. What do you think, what do you think of the time of review? Because it's upside down. What do you think? Uh, it looks like 97. <laughs> oh, 626. So like just under three weeks old? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Fresh enough. Now, uh, shout out to Sierra Hotel, viewer of the channel, friend of the channel. Great place sent to me. Stay. Oh, it's a fantastic place. When I hear Sierra Hotel, I just want to do the uh, wrestling, Roman Reigns, Shield, and intro. That's all I want to do. <laughs> Not going to, but I want to. Anyway, so double dry hopped West Coast IPA brewed with Citra Incognito, Citra Cryo, Citra, mm -hmm. Mo Mosaic Cryo, Ooh, Mosaic, okay. and Vic Secret. They're just like, we can't just do a bunch of Citra Mosaic. Vic Secret. <laughs> Big secret all day. And just did Mike show the can to the people? Huh? No, am I allowed? Yeah, can no, I do show? No, oh. I wanted you to be. Uh, shout you know, out to Rob Zombie for signing off for Sid Hague to appear <laughs> on the car. <laughs> Looks great. Oh, copyright infringement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, this is another one of those Ooh. explosions. Modern West Coast IPAs, I would assume. Maybe not. So, you guys have had hop food. You had it a little bit. <laughs> you guys had a little bit older than you probably would have liked, but you do have a fresh can. That's right. Joe brought us a fresh can, courtesy of uh, Sierra Hotel. I'll tell you what. What a bountiful day this has been. Bountiful. Dan, are we the luckiest boys in, in beer tube? Yeah, we are. Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks good. That looks I would say amazing. This looks like a North Park beer. Ooh! I, I, I think I, I've I, had I, enough I like North Park. You've had point. like four. <laughs> I've had more. We we all we, we got we, some. We got from, a bunch uh, from Jaws Arcade. Oh yeah, yeah we got did. Some from yeah. Jaws Arcade. And I reviewed some yeah. with you. Yeah. yeah. Nelson Wright. And, I know. and then back in the day, we got some from the Craft Shack. Oh, we did. Oh, the three months old hopper. Yeah. You know, Joe. I don't really have to explain why it looks like a North Park beer. It looks like a North Park. Why, why don't you put your hands? Is what I'd like to know. It's a nice apricot. No, it definitely has that old school West Coast idea. Yep. Apricot. It looks beautiful. It looks great. Apricot. Jimmy. Jimmy! I just I feel like you're saying like smoking like uh, Jim Carrey did as the matter. Jimmy! All right, Jimmy. That was time. Jimmy. Ooh, apricot jam. Oh, shit! Just... Oh. Oh, what is the... Oh, my God. That's a big, like, pine dank thing going on. Holy fuck. What that's that? a pleasant pine. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Hot Butcher. Hot Butcher! Hot hey, oh. I love you, Hot Butcher. Oh, dude, good. dude, that fucking... It's like a... It, I'm starting to get a big dank, like, pine. Big dank pine. That fruit fly says, oh, it's in the glass, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's, a, there's a nice, huge, juicy citrus. It's starting little... to turn in a little bit of weed. Dan, what do you know about that? Absolutely nothing? I know about mowing. I know it's legal here in New York, and if I did imbibe, it wouldn't be a crime. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely has a fucking weedy thing going on for me. <sighs> yeah, definitely. It definitely does, dude. Is that a skunk, or are you just happy to see me, babies? That's very, like... I get stone oh, fruits, kind of apricot, ball. nectarine, peach. Yeah, peach in that in that like kind of realm. A little bit of underlying citrus. This is terribly overpowering, but it's very just oh, it's pleasant. So, it's very, it's very. So yeah, mm. you know what? I love that that dank, weedy pine thing is kind of dominating. Uh, I, I, I missed the, the old Coast. school West. This, you know, what I said this is modern. I may have missed West though. Coast. So uh, Charlie basically uh, works at Magnanimous, according to whatever. I don't know if he's the owner, the head brewer, whatever. But that's what the <laughs> the logo of this beer is. Oh, okay. It's Charlie from Magnanimous. See, I'm getting a. This comes off more like a, like it's a bouquet of just the uh, hot perfume, kind of floral mm -hmm. aspect. Mm -hmm. oh, dude, it's. The there is a pleasant it floral. To it's it. very vibrant, like to me, yes. like it is like invading my. Mm. My cavity of my. I was gonna bury there. For me. Settle Strawberry. Oh, yeah. Ooh, baby, there's Strata. No Strata. Get fucking earth. No, but seriously. Very though. bright. Yeah. A bright Like aroma. the green top. Yeah, more towards the uh, the stem. No. Let's do it. Cheers. You don't tell me what to drink on my channel! 
You've been hijacked. You can either join me or not. <laughs> this guy's fucking secret sipping. At least, at least you let me know. I have thoughts. I have some thoughts. Mm. Where did it all go? That's what my thoughts were. What happened? Where did it all go? It's the it's the DDH motherfucker DDHing. Like that is just it, a lot that's of the a floral subtle. Like a lot of that floral, like bright fruity, like aroma, just kind of died down to a thin. There's a citrus to it, but it's just kind of it. It's fruity. It's like a hoppy pilsner. Yeah, it's it's like fruity. It's a hoppy Kool Aid. But that dank weed pine just does not exist. There's a taste. bitterness in there, but it's not what the aroma. Presented. No, not at all. I, I it's mean, a generic bitterness. I don't dislike it. It's just the nose was fucking spectacular. Like spectacular. I love the nose. I'll tell you what. If the nose was kind of like the flavor is. Then I'd be like, yeah, it's a decent beer. I, I'd chug this, you know. It, it's a good little drinker, huh. but we, that's so weird. Yeah, we spent so much on the aroma, <laughs> like you, because I thought, it was good. Yeah, the aroma was real nice. Um, body on this one's like lower side to medium, seven point one percent, definitely thin. The mouthfeel, it's you know fine, crisp, you know moderate carbonation, it's fine. The taste though, it's pretty much like up front. I get like um, bready kind of biscuity like kind of like you're saying like almost like an uh, like a lager it has that like bready biscuity crackery kind of malt sensation and then after that i get that fruit i get like a little bit of citrus orange grapefruit passes through and i'm like waiting for the peach and the apricot and and, and the you know nectarine hit and it just doesn't and it's just like huh. a generic sweetness yeah like a generic it's sweetness. orange kool-aid for me it, that's okay I, yeah i can totally see that yeah it, it's just like a generic like citrus sweetness and then the finish it does finish like mild to moderately bitter but it doesn't have a, uh, a distinctive flavor on the bitterness it's just generic bitterness it's almost hot water yeah, yeah I, don't I know it's a, it's, a, it's a, you, <laughs> how dare you fucking have an opinion mike i'm gonna need you to just not talk the rest of this from you unbelievable i've had hot water yeah we have had hot yeah <laughs> i will say this i i don't dislike this oh, is it good huh <laughs> the hot water Oh, no, but, I don't. Okay, I don't dislike this, but it's we talked. So we we you know we obviously talk offline because you know otherwise it'd be awkward. Um, you know, maybe off camera. We're standing around. No, but, but, but we talked. Yeah, we, we talked about phantasm and double dry hopping, triple dry hopping, where like the aromatics are, are crazy on a lot of them, and then you drink them, and it kind of disappoints you, and especially phantasm. If you told me this was maybe phantasm, I'd probably be like, yeah, no, I knew it. Fuck, definitely knew it because it gives me a great just aromatic experience and then you drink the fucking thing and you're like what just happened that's why i said i had thoughts this, and you're like oh, what happened I, what what happened it's not bad but where the fuck is the aroma this beer this, taste? this beer is like finally after all those years getting to meet chase utley only to have him <laughs> run off with a skeleton monkey hand and be like he was just there and he gone <laughs> That's what it's like. Always what a great reference. Always sunny. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it presented so much. Oh, Chase Utley, and they just park. No park. park. Take your monkey hand yeah. and runs. Away. Gone. Yeah, I, I what, like what you said. It is good, but when the aroma is so plentiful, it kind of makes what is a good beer. Eh, I'll be honest. With you. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. The taste carried over. This is like four or five for me. Like, I fucking was loving the aroma. It's very rare for me to get that, like, weed, dank pine. It was fruity enough. It was, like, fucking vi Like I said, it was very... Vi like, it was punching my nostrils. I'm like, oh, man, I just want to get into it. And I get into it. I'm like, eh, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just want to sit here and sniff it. I don't know. What do you think, Dan? Chase? <laughs> Chase? <laughs> uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. All right, Mike, rate it. It... So, I'll put it this way, 7.1%. It drinks a little bit lighter. Like you said, like a hop, almost a hoppy oh, yeah, lager. Yeah, but yeah. It drinks like it's like fucking 5. But, but six. if I'm drinking at that point, why don't I just want it 5.5? Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, yeah. So I, it highs the alcohol well, but I probably don't want it to. I don't know. Because I wish, I wish it tasted like a 7.1% beer. 3.5. 3.5? What'd you do? 3.5. 3.5. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm with that three seven five. Like I still think it's solid and, and pretty oh. pretty good, but like, yeah, I don't know. It's I'll put it this way: if 
a four pack of this showed up at my local bottle shop, I'd probably buy it. This this okay. is this is you drinking the four pack over the course of a street yard uh, hangout for like three four hours. This will yeah. be this will be yeah. mixed into your just like I just yeah. drinking yeah right before solid. I just say goodbye without. Oh yeah, Not he's so gone. Good. He did like all of a sudden you fucking change your avatar to three different, maybe seven different <laughs> fucking pictures, and then and half an hour later you are no longer gone. Cue to Alex who then says, "What happened to him? Where he go? <laughs> oh, I hope he's all right." It's like pretty much what happens. Anyway, even though we weren't the biggest fans of this one, you always got to be honest mm -hmm. with your reviews. And uh, again, yeah. this is pretty just only three weeks old. Um, yeah, I mean. I usually love North Park stuff, and this is probably the most disappointing beer for me, but it's still solid, good, drinkable. It's just that fucking nose can get fucked. Like, I want I want, I want, that in my glass. Price point availability, I have no idea. I'd imagine. These are probably like $16 a four-pack, maybe $18 a four-pack. You know, it's a 7.1% double dry hop West Coast IPA. Maybe 20 I can just see the text message now. Oh, my God, dude. North Park just came in here. We got North Park. But it's Charlie Foo. Yeah. Dan's like... <laughs> You know what it does make me think of? It makes me think of though coming home from a hot summer night at work where you want something that's pretty crisp and refreshing with a little bit of flavor. Something you don't have to like sip or anything. You can just kind of drink and kind of half think about. Yeah. That's something I would grab for in the fridge if I had a full And, and I know you guys haven't had, again, you, you got the hot food in the fridge. You haven't had like the experience of like a fresh hot food. Hot food is way better than this. <laughs> like, I've, I've had, I've yeah, had we'll it now. See. We'll see. We will see, but I think it's better, Mike. I just well, you're better. entitled to your own opinion. That's what's great about beer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that got creepy. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but I'm rock hard. <laughs> anyway, uh, in the in the description in the description box, I don't want beer anymore. Maybe an app. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I can't do. I just walk off now. We just leave Mike here by himself. Um, in the description box, there'll be an at to. Only his on tap, not the channel. Hey, list. sweet. Yeah. I barely post. And then what I do, I do it all in one big clump. <laughs> you just do updates. <laughs> Guys, uh, full reviews on YouTube. <laughs> uh, but yeah, not much more to say about it. Availability is fucking North Park. You find it, I guess. I don't know. Um, if you've had this one before, let us know what you think about it. I know we some beers of the channel well. like Bud. I know he loves a lot of their beer. And I'm pretty sure he enjoyed this one, but like to me, hot food's in another another tier. So we'll see we'll see what you guys think about a fresh hot food. But like we'll see. This is it. Charlie done fucked it up. Charlie done fucked Charlie. it up. I don't know Charlie. He's probably a Charlie. great guy. But his influence here done fucked it up. No, I don't know. Maybe we got a bad camp. We're going to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Well, well the magical oh, you play it on the fucking cat up there. <laughs> oh god, they took my <laughs> kidney. <laughs> I'm gonna blow up my valve. My valve is shot. No more beer today, boys.